Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps. Thank you for joining me today for another demonstration. We're going to be using our Yopo paper and we're also going to be using some of our lovely pure alcohol inks here. So I've just picked a combination of colours, some nice light colours that we're going to be working with today. We also need our alcohol lift ink and we're going to be needing some blending solution as well. We need our brayer <coughs> and I've cut some multifarious card ready to take a print. This is our cream multifarious card but of course you can use white if you wish. I've also got my blending tool with my felt pads as well and I'll be using that to create a background. Okay, so let's start with some of our colours. We've got sea mist here and we've got gooseberry and we've got harvest yellow and I'm just going to start by just gently dabbing the blending tool over the top. And now I'm going to start adding some other colours. And again, just going back to the blending tool I'm just going to stop that ink from spreading any further. And again. And let's bring in some jade blue. And if at any point you don't like the colours that you've put down, just keep working with it, adding more colours. They just change all the time for as long as you're adding colour. So let's have a look. What else have we got? We've got some... This is our peacock blue. It's quite a deep colour. Just going to keep that to the edge. And again, if we feel like that's a little bit too dark, we can add some lighter colour. So let's have a look. We can even add some white. And this will change everything completely. The white is just great to work with. I think we're good to go on that now. So make sure it is completely dry. So now we need our alcohol lift ink and our brayer 
and we need our multifarious at hand. So we need to work quite quickly with this now. So alcohol lift ink, I'm just going to pour a line of that and it's very thick so um, don't be worried about it going everywhere and then I'm going to drag the alcohol lift down over the page and then place the multifarious over the top. And let's see what we've got. Now look at that, isn't that a fabulous background? And it takes the print so well. So we've got our castle here. I'm going to ink up in the Nocturne. And then let's pop that round about here. Give that a good press. And there we go. Okay, so I'm going to ground this now using one of our hill masks. So just placing that on the base of the castle there. I'm now going to take our stencil brush and we've got twilight there which is a really lovely colour. And I'm just taking that over the top. And then what's left on the brush, I'm just going to soften that edge a little more just to make it look a little bit more mystical. So I've got some little stamps here. Now if you've got any little foliage stamps, you can build up um, a great picture just by using the minis. So I'm going to use the Twilight now. And I'm just stamping around like so. And then let's change that for another one. And this time I'm going to use Warm Breeze. And I've got some um, ivy here as well. Let's go with the uh, Monarch. Now if you haven't got these colours, don't worry. You know, just pick colours that will complement what you've put together. So now we're going to be using the uh, Posca pens, got the yellow here, we're just picking a light colour though. And this just adds a little bit of magic. And then lastly, Taking our glue pen, 
I'm going to add a little bit of glitter. Just a tiny amount. And just popping that over the top, like so. And you can see the glitter there. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's demo. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it's inspired you to have a go at this technique. It is really quite good fun. Something a bit different.